Hey, what's happening guys? What you see here is the nightlight we built in the last video. What you see here is a remote for one of my TVs. And for instance, if I press the Netflix button, it lights up. If I press the star button, it goes off. It doesn't matter what button you press. As long as you're pressing a button from any sort of infrared remote, it switches on or off, depending. So after a little bit of research, I was able to find this kit by searching on Amazon for um, night light soldering DIY kit. And pardon the, uh, the movement here. But there it is. For uh, $13.68. And the best part is it has a somewhat useful uh, manual with it. So anyway, this is called the RCN1 IR Control Lamp DIY Kit. You can see it has the 18 LEDs, two position brightness control infrared remote. Working current, 30 milliamps. But you know what? If this thing is switching itself on and off, there's got to be some quiescent current going on there. And I figured we could take a look. But anyway, here you see function. Black button used to turn lamp on and off. Self-locking switch used to change uh, brightness. Any infrared remote controller to turn the lamp on and off. So, that's where we are. And we know that's good. So let's take our lamp out here. Disconnect our battery from it. We'll go over to milliamps here. Can't manage to get this guy connected. <laughs> Looks like it might be harder than I had originally planned. Mm. Let me think on this for a second. All right, all I did was plug into the port here. So we can use the meters here on the power supply. So let's put the output on at 9 volts. And it lights up. We're looking at 34 amps or, you know, just about 300 milliwatts. Put it in the low power setting. And we're looking at 25 milliamps or 200 and a... 225 or so milliwatts. What happens if we use the remote control and shut it off? Well, then we're looking at quiescent current there of 2 milliamps or, you know, 18 milliwatts. And it shouldn't make any difference whether the brightness switch is up or down. There's full brightness. There's this current holding state, 2 milliamps. There's low power in its holding state, also 2 milliamps. So, what's the 4017 doing in this? I mean, this seems like something you could handle with a couple of uh, transistors, right? Luckily... We got a schematic we can look at. All right, here is our schematic. So up here, we have all of our LEDs. And this is our latching switch here. 
which controls the brightness level and just throws in those extra uh, six. There are our current limiting resistors. And if we follow this trace, they're going to go through this PNP transistor. Goes to ground. And what is controlling that transistor? Pin number two on our CD4017. And pin number two is output one. We also have pin eight going to ground, which is right. Pin 16 going to VCC, which is right. And pin four, which is output two, is going to 15, which is our reset. So what's happening here is when you hit the switch, we are energizing this transistor here, which is putting a signal on the pin 14. And 14 is our clock, which is our input signal, which is switching on the outputs. In this case, it's switching on two. And then it's going to go to three on the next one, since three is not there. It's going to jump to four. And there you have it. It's going to go and reset and go back in. So where is... There it is. There is our friendly little infrared receiver. And it works the same way. You see this node right here? Our infrared receiver, that's this guy right here. And this little tax switch are connected to the same point. So if either one of these outputs a signal to the base of this transistor here, then it is going to turn that output on. And that is how this beautiful little device works. Just like that. It's really nice. I love how they did it. It's not very expensive at $13.68. So if you're interested, I will put a link down below in the description where you can order one of these and build it for yourself and have yourself a little remote controlled nightlight that you can use with any infrared remote. Because it's not doing any decoding. It's just looking for an infrared signal in there. If one comes in, bang, it turns it on or turns it off. That's all there is to it. So, if you guys enjoyed this, I really hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to good friend Rob for sending this in. I really like it. This is going to have a place. We're going to keep this guy around. All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Okay, Dougley, we're going to test out our infrared light. Are you ready? It's on. It's off. On. Off. What do you think?